Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor at Johnson County Community College, and this is to extend our discussion of math and JavaScript. You're probably in our Web 110 HTML and CSS or Web 114 JavaScript 1 class, and if so, welcome. I may be showing you some HTML, CSS, and JavaScript that you have not covered yet, but don't worry about the weeds. We'll get to that in class. What we're attempting to do here is identify and highlight those areas where math symbols are used in JavaScript and basically all languages in ways you might not expect so that you can have a heads up on the types of problems that you're going to have in programming as it relates to your previous math knowledge. So I'm going to refresh this page and as we demonstrated in the previous screencast, when I add two numbers using JavaScript, instead of adding them as numbers, I'm concatenating the strings, the textual strings. And why does this happen? Well, I think it really goes back to the fact that we're working on a web page to begin with. Remember, a web page is built with hypertext markup language. And here are our tags or our elements for our hypertext markup language. And the emphasis is on text. So everything that you see on a web page starts out in its native form as text, as a string. So when I pass these numbers over to my JavaScript function, they come over as strings. And when we plus two strings, when we add two strings, they get concatenated together instead of treated as numbers. Now when we use a, another math symbol such as subtract or multiply or divide, we are unable to do those operations on strings. So JavaScript, in its infinite wisdom, has decided to do an automatic type conversion for you when you feed it strings that are actually numbers and are using these types of operators on those strings. So yes, 10 is a string, 2 is a string, but when we subtract them, JavaScript behind the scenes for us does automatic type conversion, converts this to the number 10, converts this to the number 2, and does the math for us. But when we use the plus operator, the strings show their true selves and just become strings of text that get concatenated together. So how do we fix this? There's a couple of ways that you can fix this in JavaScript. Here's my JavaScript function called calculate answer that I'm running every time I click the calculate button. And here's where I grab the numbers. So N1 is the number that comes off this input box. I'm using document.getElementById number one, which is ID of this particular input box. I'm grabbing its value. And N2, I'm grabbing its value. And we know these things are strings because of how they have concatenated themselves together. I'll go ahead and clear my console here. So one way of fixing this is to surround your document.getElementById value property with the number function. This is a very common way, and it basically converts whatever is passed to it as a number. That works really well. Now that I've got number forcing these values to present themselves as numbers later on in the code, when I get down here to n1 plus n2, they're going to be treated as numbers and actually become 12. And let's just try a couple different numbers for fun. How about 20 and 4? Calculate. Now I become the correct answer versus 204. Subtracting is still working. Multiplying is still working and dividing is still working. Great. That's one way. Another way, which is less popular in my opinion, but I've seen it in different examples, is to simply multiply whatever I get out of this text box by one. And remember, when we multiply, you cannot multiply strings. So if what I have in here is a string, but it's a string of numbers, this multiply operator will force this result to be a number. So that's where the automatic type conversion comes in. And this also works, let's see, let's try 15 and five. And when we add them, we're getting 20 now instead of 155. So both of those techniques are great. I somehow prefer the number technique because I think it's a little bit more obvious as to what we're trying to do. I think it's a little bit more self-documenting. But that's the plus sign and how it works in two different ways in JavaScript and in all languages that I'm aware of, both as the addition symbol for numbers and the concatenation symbol for text. And we'll use it often in our console logs to get a result that looks like this. Sometimes if I just console log out the variable itself, 
the answer, what we're console logging out is much less obvious. So here I just have the N1 and the N2 itself. But when I add string to that, and the whole thing becomes a string with the concatenation operator, wow, it's really obvious then in my console what I'm working with. So you're seeing me in my JavaScript use the plus operator in two different ways. Here I'm concatenating text together to give me a very meaningful console log message. And in this switch statement, I'm using it as the plus operator to actually add the two numbers. Thank you.